Texas A&M uh, AD, mm-hmm. uh, however you say his name, he, uh, he is not pleased with the fact that there is a there's something percolating out there that Oklahoma and Texas want to come to SEC. Well, it, it is funny because when this rumor came out yesterday and the SEC media days has been going on and it mm-hmm. kind of coincided with that, <clears throat> there wasn't a lot of denial out there. And that was the first thing that was kind of interesting. Nobody was really mm-hmm. saying, no, this is not mm-hmm. true. No, this is silly. As a matter of fact, everybody kind of declined comment on it, which really mm-hmm. stirred things up even more. Um, but I will tell you this. I, I, the the Texas-Texas A&M rivalry is, is deep, and it runs with a lot of money. And, uh, and those two schools do not like each other. Which and, is good. And A&M basically left because Texas was, uh, you know, dominating the – the conference they were in at the time and calling the shots and they were doing their own independent deals. And um, so they moved to make some headlines getting in the SEC, which has been very good for them yep. financially. And now I, I'm not too sure that you're not seeing some of this as a, hey, let's change the discussion because A&M is, had one of their best football seasons they've had in a while last year. They're looking to, you know, they're right to end the conversation to compete with Alabama for the SEC West this year. Um, a playoff berth. They just barely missed that last year. So these are good times for the Aggie football program. And, you know, you would almost expect Texas to churn up the water a little bit. <laughs> so here, here is uh, the comments from Texas and Oklahoma. Speculation always swirls around collegiate athletics, says Texas. We will not address rumors or speculation. Oklahoma says the college athletics landscape is shifting constantly. Yep. We don't address every anonymous rumor. Now, you know, the flip side, though, while I do think there may be some hype to that that's, you know, self-generated, yep. the other side is there may be some shifting in college football due to the fact the NCAA uh, is going to see some big changes and, and with this NIL lawsuit and the threat of more lawsuits that uh, some of their power is going to be deregulated, so to speak, and some of these Power Five conferences want to have more control. They want to dictate terms and – Boy, if you put a if you put an Oklahoma and Texas in the SEC, then boy, that's a that's that's a heavy hitting conference right there. Well, my my question is, could we take two out though? I mean, you, you don't I mean, take two out. I know, but I'd like to. <laughs> See, the SEC, I think, has always wanted. You'd like but, to. but would you, Rick? Yeah. Think about what we had last year. Yeah, but you know, I have some. I, I don't care if they ever play again. Well, you're not going to remove them. But you're, you're talking have 16 about you're teams talking about football. What you're have. So, but they, I'm talking football. Yeah, some of those other schools that. have been good now, in basketball. Yeah, basketball. I don't care about. But here's what you are going to have to yeah. do, and this is legit. <laughs> this is legitimate. Okay, right. Right. where do they go? Right. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. these are two teams that would obviously need to fall into the West. Right. Well, you can't just take them and put them into the West without moving somebody yeah. to the East, and so. It makes sense to move Auburn and Alabama geographically, but I don't know if that's how they do it or not. Um, so if this happens, and it, guys, this is not the first time the SEC has talked about adding these particular teams. This discussion has been going on for 10, 15 years. And Texas, Texas A&M, Oklahoma State, they all nearly left and went to the Pac-10 several years ago. Right. So I think the SEC has always wanted 16 teams. If you can add two teams, they've tried to add Florida, uh, Florida State and Miami a couple times through the years. Yeah. If you could add two teams, this does make sense, and it would be yeah, awesome well, it's for gotta be college two. football. Yeah, it can't just be one. It's yeah. got to be two. So, uh, but Texas A&M, they say that uh, they want to be the only Texas team in the SEC. That's the reason why they uh, they left the Big 12 to stand alone and have our own identity. The problem with yeah, that they, is – They will vote no on this, yeah. I guarantee you. <laughs> the good sure. news for the SEC and the people that want to see this – is it only takes 11 of the current 14 to extend an invite to them. Legally. Meaning it doesn't matter what Texas A&M does if the other, you know, 13 go, hey, we're in. Well, legally you are correct, but historically they've asked for a unanimous vote just as a courtesy. And I don't think they would get that this time. No, they will not. <laughs>